To obtain the 64-page book that accompanies this series, there's an order form in the free programme guide, which is available from BBC Education Information on 0181 746 1111. The life and work of Jane Austen in next week's English File at the same time, 11.30 next Friday morning, here on BBC Two. Every day, thousands of cyclists have to walk to work, to school, or to play, because they didn't lock up their bike properly. Always secure your bike to something immovable, and get your postcode marked on the frame. Or you're in for a long walk home. Crime. Together, we'll crack it. Drug addiction and related social issues in a hard-hitting drama now on BBC Two. In the third and final part of an adaptation of the Carnegie award-winning novel, Scene presents junk. This series is for educational purposes, intended for teenagers, not suitable for younger children, and it contains scenes you may find disturbing. <laughs> of the rest of our lives. When you're on smack, it's all you care about. You know you're killing yourself, but the drug is all that matters. Now things are going to change. Where'd you get that? Oh, I have my ways. Lily was having a baby. The reason I needed to start again. Just a cigarette. The reason we all needed. If we couldn't do it for ourselves, we'd do it for the baby. Cornflakes. Instant mash. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, there'll be loads of fruit and veg where we're going. You've been there before? No. It's always been fully booked. We only got it because someone cancelled. I can't imagine Rob's mum earning a holiday left. I thought she was some sort of hippie. She is. But she only believes in free love. She doesn't give anything else away. This? Yeah, and that. And that bag. Oh. All right. <sighs> Tor. Food. Tor! Do you want a cup of tea? How many times do I have to say no? Ooh, sorry. It's all right, Gems. Some of us came here to get clean. Yeah. Well, they're not going to pump you full of drugs to start the labour and then to ease the pain then to keep the baby breathing. Tar. I mean, half the world must be drugged up at birth. Tar, shut it. Take misery guts for a walk. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Shake a leg, Tom. <laughs> Come on. Fine. You know, I think we can really do it. Well, we've got to. The Lils. No. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, how can we fail? It's impossible to feel bad out here. This is air. You can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's doing wonders for me. 
Excuse me, ladies. Stay with the girls, yeah? Where are you going? I need a dump. <laughs> Come and watch if you like. <laughs> Did you go back to the house? I can't stand this. I'm going for some booze. You'll only get a hangover and feel even worse. Yeah, well, I've got to have something to see me through this. Oh. Look, I'll do this my way, right? You do it yours. So, where are you going? There's an off license in town. Right, well, I'll come with you. No, don't. Well, what if you don't get served? You might need me. Rob, I won't need you. All right, all right. No, no, I am. I am coming off. I've just got to, you know, take it slow and bit by bit, so... I knew it. You were never coming off at all. No, don't, don't say you're not glad I brought it with me. Oh, just give me a... Oh. had a hit. How could you? How could you? No, Gems, we, we were going to tell you, honest. You liar. Give me some. Are you sure? I mean, you know, you... Just give me some! If just one of you had hung in there with me... What did it matter? You don't really think like that. We'll be dead in three years anyway. You might as well be dead already. You never even do anything to that sodding dandelion anymore. I'm 
got anything. Say what? It used to be nice around here. I mean, you've only got to look at the houses. Some of them are Georgian, you know. I mean, this used to be the posh part of town. I mean, there's always money around here, even when I was growing up. Shut up, you fat slug. Mind you, some had it and some didn't. And those that didn't, well, you're all in it together. More of a sense of community. I'd like to stamp on you, you slug. Not like it is now. I mean, there was reggae blaring out all night, curry all over the place, muggings, drugs, prostitution. No offence, love. One slimy, squashed slug. Depends how you look at it. You call it prostitution. I call it PPD. PPD? Pervert prevention duty. You calling me a pervert, you foul-mouthed little mare? Don't you have a pop at me? At least I'm just following my natural instincts, not like some people. Sticking filth in their arm every day. Call me perverted. That's what I call perverted. I might have to pay for it, but I'm not desperate. I don't have to do it with a junkie. Well, what's going on? Oh, it's Lils. She's totally, totally out of it, you know. Yeah, I had to call an ambulance. But how was I supposed to know well, the place to call? Are you going back you inside, know? or...? There's my stuff all in there, you know. Oh. There's, there's needles and everything all streamed over, you know. What but about Tar? I need to get Where's Tar? <laughs> Listen, get the stuff, yeah? OK? Come on. Leave me alone. What's going to happen to my friend? Is she all right? It's who all right? Lily. Who's Lily? Lily! Lily! I meant, who is she to you? She's my friend. Do you live here? No, she doesn't. I've already told you anything you find here is mine. I'm not talking to you. Do you live here? No, she lives with Jerry and Vonnie. Check them out. I won't tell you again. Well? He's right. I live with Jerry and Vonnie. Who are? Friends. We need to get through here, please. Jerry! Jim, it's all right. Take her details. Right. You are under arrest for having a controlled drug in your possession. You do not have to say anything unless you wish to, but what you do say may be taken down and used in evidence against you. took the rap for all of us. Told them all the stuff in the squat was his. They knew it wasn't, but they couldn't prove otherwise. I felt really guilty, but Lily took it all for granted. She was even sneery about him choosing to go to a detox centre instead of prison. Something better happen soon, I'm out of here! Well, there's a the door, no one's keeping you. Was I talking to you? I'm Steve. So? I work here. Also, I've been an addict for 15 years. Do you still take drugs? No, and neither do you while you're in here. Not even aspirin. If you're caught with drugs of any kind, you're out. No questions, no arguments, the door. But that goes for me too. So anyone who doesn't feel like they can do it should go now. Really? Really. If you're not ready, you can always come back another time. But if you get caught with any gear, you're finished in this place. Understood? Hi there. Come in. You going? Where to? It's either this place or the prison. What do you think this place is? I don't want to be here. No more lies, no more failures. No more life? Not like before. Well, best of luck to you, mate. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy, you do. <laughs> when skies 
the grave. Oh, you'll have your own baby one day, Gems. I know you will. They give you so much. Like nice fat veins. And your breasts are big and milky. Oh. Are you listening to me? I can't do this. I can't do it. Come on, Tara. Just a few no. more days and you'll be clean. No, 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 I've had enough. Just, I can't do it, I just can't. All right, all right, Tara. Do you want me to get you something? Heroin. Methadone. Why can't you get me heroin? I just want some heroin. Because methadone's legal. It's in the medicine cabinet, and you can have it inside two minutes. Just get it, then. OK. You pack your bag. What? Pack your bag. You can have some if you want it, then you have to leave. Pack your bag. You know the rules. Rules. Punch your methadone. I can't believe he's coming home. All that he's clean. He's not clean. They filled his head with their filth. Yeah, well. We're on smack. And he's not. We're all proud of you. You've done brilliantly. I was thinking of giving my dad a call. You know, one day, maybe visit him, Mum. That'd be good. Not now. Now I need to be strong for Gemma. Best of luck, Tom. I'll be thinking about you. I think I'll make it. You'll know that by the end of your first day out there. Hey. Hi, Rob. Hi, Tom. Hey, douche. Yeah. <laughs> Come in. Come in. No, we weren't expecting you till uh, Wednesday or Friday or something. A cup of tea. Is Gemma here? Nah, she's not, mate, nah. Well, where is she then? Uh, she's in here. <laughs> <laughs>
Promise you won't tell Tar. What's to tell? Where is he anyway? <clears throat> oh, we know he's not in the toilet. <laughs> Where's Rob? Welcome home, Tar. You're such an example to the rest of us. You couldn't wait. What's your problem? There are people round here who really wanted you to do it. Who says I won't? OK. So, you take the stuff, but you've still given up. Leave him alone. It's supposed to be a party. Oh, shut your mouth, hey, you. Hey, 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 he asked me. I didn't have to twist his arm. I said leave it. And what about tomorrow and the next day? I don't know, Lily. I expect I feel like some more air. What a waste. Sort yourself out first. <sighs> Come on. Now, wait a minute. Really? I haven't finished Just leave yet. Me. I only came Oi. here to find out how you really? were. Oi. This is my house. Hypocrite. I'm okay. We're okay. Trust me. I'm shivering. They call. Don't touch me. Jen.
right, sweetheart. I know what you need. Let's get you cleaned up, eh? Yeah. What are you doing? He needs changing. Says who? Lily is nappy. He's practically bursting. <sighs> Don't tell me what my baby needs. You shouldn't need telling. Nobody's going to take my baby from me. Lily, I'm not trying to take your Nobody's baby. ever going to take my baby away from me. Now look what you've done, stupid. He's crying now. Oh, I haven't done anything. Coming round, trying to take over. Let me tell you, I'm the only person that knows how to stop my sonny from crying. Aren't I? See? Yeah, we showed him, didn't we? Lily, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Because nobody else I'd share my methadone with. Lily, stop it! <laughs> See? Don't tell me I don't love my kid. And don't tell me I'm not fit to be a mother. <laughs> Move! I'm having a baby. Can I come home? I'm not going to cry.
The National Drugs Helpline is a free 24-hour support service offering confidential information and advice on drugs-related issues. The number is... Drugs-related issues. The number is...